Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Mad Maxine caught slipping $100,000 of donated campaign funds to her daughter for repulsive reason. Maxine Waters is known as a flamboyant, aggressive, and anti-Trumper member of Congress. Her vitriol-filled floor speeches speak for themselves. She never ceases to get into verbal altercations both on and off the House floor. But now the shadiness and debauchery are leaking into her campaign and her family. Especially after recent developments regarding her daughter's accepting money from her campaign. Perhaps it will be her shady financial dealings that finally take her down. The Washington Examiner reported. Rep. Maxine Waters' campaign committee has paid the California Democrats' daughter nearly $50,000 this election cycle, with an additional $65,000 forthcoming, campaign finance documents show. Disclosures with the Federal Election Commission show Karen Waters received $42,862 from citizens for Waters through a series of nine payments made between May 2017 and January 2018. The most recent payment, of $5,000, was made January 19, according to FEC filings. The payments to the younger Waters were described as a slate mailer management fee. Additional filings with the FEC show Citizens for Waters will pay Karen an additional $65,000 this election cycle for professional services related to the mailer. According to California's Fair Political Practices Commission, a slate mailer is a mass mailing in support of or opposed to candidates or ballot initiatives. Waters has emerged as a frequent critic of President Trump and often calls for his impeachment. Her most recent call came this month when she tweeted impeachment is the only answer after the president withdrew the U.S. from the Iran nuclear deal. For those who are unaware of what a slate mailing is here is a simple explanation. The Political Reform Act, Act, requires organizations that receive payments for the purpose of producing one or more slate mailers supporting or opposing state and local candidates and ballot measures to file periodic campaign statements that disclose, all payments received in connection with producing slate mailers, all payments made in connection with producing slate mailers and, the identity of each candidate or measure supported or opposed by each slate mailer. This chapter defines key terms and concepts that relate to campaign disclosure. Payment means a payment, distribution, transfer, loan, advance, deposit, gift, or other rendering of money, property, services or anything else of value, whether tangible or intangible. A slate mailer is a mass mailing, more than 200 substantially similar pieces of mail sent in a calendar month, that supports or opposes a total of four or more candidates or ballot measures. Note. For a mass mailing supporting a candidate, any opponents of the candidate listed on the same slate are not counted toward the total required to qualify as a slate mailer. To indicate her lack of credibility, Waters is also the same woman who denounced James Comey, the former director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, until he started trashing the president. The high-profile California Democrat spoke to MSNBC hosts to discuss the Russian investigation being conducted by Robert Mueller. The Washington Examiner reported. Hayes led with, you and Donald Trump do agree on that. That sentence you said, the FBI director has no credibility, you and Donald Trump are in agreement on that. Yes, coming out of that classified briefing, I said that and I certainly meant it, Waters responded. However, I think it is quite different when you take a look at Comey and his relationship to the president. What he's said, what he's done, I believe him. I believe him, yes. So then was then and now is now, she added. While Waters trashes Congressional, Senate, and administration Republicans for their so-called lack of integrity and ethics, she is erstwhile conducting shady financial dealings where she is paying her daughter large sums of money from her campaign. Dinesh D'Souza got slammed really bad and convicted for shady campaign contributions, and if he was given such a harsh sentence for that then Waters' daughter too should be held responsible. Because taking money from her mother's campaign is clearly a conflict of interest. Perception is reality and the perception looks like Waters is underhandedly giving money to her daughter for little to no work. Members of Congress should not be held to higher standards and in recent months many have been held responsible for their deplorable and illegal actions. However, for whatever reason, the mainstream media is not reporting on what is going on with Waters and her daughter. In large part probably because she is a progressive Democrat and they do not want to disturb the Waters. Which is entirely unfair. Everyone should be treated equally in the eyes of the media and the law. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.